Well, <laughs> Chelsea 3, Southampton 3. And uh, I thought I'd do this review now. Because it doesn't matter if I if I wait if I wait overnight or not like I normally do. Um, I haven't had a pint or anything or a glass of wine. Uh, I'm probably lucky I haven't. Um, I'm not sure what to say about that. I, I uh... <sighs> Chelsea showed the best of themselves and the worst of themselves all in one game. But it is majorly a personnel problem. Going forward, we were excellent the way we, we should be with that amount of with that amount of um, skill. Werner, oh Werner, oh the way he took his first goal, the composure and um, and the way he took his second goal, that finish putting it over the keeper. I, I did wonder if it stuck it struck his arm, you know they're like nowadays, but big sigh of relief. But the finish was was beautiful. Composure, speed, everything that you could uh, you could want. Um, I thought he was I thought he was excellent today. Habits got his goal, I thought he was excellent as well. It did did make a a, a mistake for for one of the goals um the first yeah the first goal where he lost it um he'll learn from that he's a 21 year old kid he'll learn from it um don't lose the ball there not halfway in your own half where you where you when your defenders are all at sea so he went through to ings he went through to ings who um I'm watching Peter Shilton, sorry to digress, but I was watching Peter Shilton the other day and um, when there was a, a centre forward through on goal with him, um, particularly running at an angle, Shilton would go as if he was going to ground and then stay up. And because the forward then thinks, oh crikey, and, and what that did, that gave the opportunity for a defender to run behind him in that great forest side. Um, to run behind him, or for for Shilton himself to to force the guy guy wide, but Kepa obviously went to ground quick. I'm not blaming Kepa for that, um, but I'm just saying from a, a top top keeper, I don't tend to go to ground so quickly. Um, now the second goal. Second Southampton goal. Zuma, bad, bad back pass. Mistake, which was a shame because I thought he had a half decent game, particularly aerially. But I was working out in my 50 odd years supporting Chelsea, I have seen Peter Bonetti. John Phillips, Steve Sherwood, Peter Barotta. Everyone remembers Peter Barotta. I think he was on the halfway line more than he was in goal. Steve Francis, Eddie Nizvicki, Tony Gordon for a little bit, Roger Freestone. I tried to forget about that as best I can. Dave Besant, Kevin Hitchcock, Dimitri Karin, the Russian with the tracksuit bottoms on. Never forget him. Fro Grodus, I've forgotten about him. Ed De Hoy, probably, probably the fifth, sixth best keeper we've had. Carlo Cudicini, cracking keeper. Mark Bosnich, Mark Bosnich has never done this, and he was probably coked out of his box or on ecstasy or something at the at the time, and probably had big spiders running at him, but he never did this. Marco Ambrosini, forgot all about him. Hilario, Ross Turnbull, Peter Cech, and legs wide open, the Snake Courtois. I have seen all those up until Kepa, and obviously Caballero as well. And in 50 odd years, I have never, as far as I can remember, and I've seen some poor, poor goalkeepers. I have, and I've seen some poor goals let in, but I've never seen a goalkeeper bottle it. I've never seen a goalkeeper 
bottle out of going down at someone's feet. And today, I saw it. Now, I'm always rattling on about people not supporting Chelsea and not supporting the players. And if Kepa plays in a Chelsea shirt again, I will support him for that 90 minutes. But I'll never, ever get over seeing a Chelsea goalkeeper bottle it. I'll never get over it. And you know what? If I was one of his teammates and I was in the dressing room now, I'm not proud of it, but I'd, I'd have him up against the wall. I'd have him up against the wall. You cannot, you cannot at any level bottle out. You just can't do it. And he did it. I can't believe me. I just watched it again. He bottles out. I don't know if he don't want to get hurt or, or, or don't want to get dirty or what. But he bottles out. Bosnich would have come out with the spiders and everything running at him. He would have, he would have come out. But um, never, ever seen that before. So if he, for me... And I, and, I, and I say I'm biased. It's not just the fact that I don't think he could catch cold. I didn't like his attitude in the League Cup final. But, young lad, give him a chance. But a coward in goal, I can't personally, I can't personally forgive. So, um, yeah, if I ever see Kepper in goal again for Chelsea, it will be... A day too soon. Yes, I'll support him as I support every player that runs out in blue. But that did me with him today. I'll, I'll be honest. I won't discuss Kepa. People can 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 say what they want. They're entitled to their opinion, and they might disagree with me. But I'm finished with him today. I'm absolutely finished. Caballero goes in goal. I, I the phone me. I'll go in goal. But um, but Kepa, I'm finished. I'm sorry. I I'm going to to give him a one, and that's because he turned up wearing a kit and boots. He made that save in the in the last few minutes, where he pushed it straight back out. Luckily, I think it was Zuma following up. Um, and that's the only thing I can I can. I can really say he did, but but cowardice for your goalkeeper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, not having it. So yes, and um, the last uh, the last goal. Obviously, there should be someone goal side of the the guy that headed it on. I forget his name. Began with J. And Jabberwacky or something like that. I can't. I don't know. I'm not, I can't be bothered looking it up. I'm too depressed. But um, I, I just. So I'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll give. <laughs> I'll give the team scores. Kepper's got one, and that is because he, as I say, he turned up and he was wearing a kit and he had boots on. Um, I don't think they're particularly bad scores. I thought Jorginho played really, really well today. The beautiful ball, beautiful ball for um, for Werner um, for the se for the second Chelsea goal. Um, and I think that's why that's why Frank Lampard kept him on because when you've got the pace of Werner and uh, surprising pace of Havertz and Pulisic up there, um, those sort of balls can just undo defenses. And uh, and so it was. Uh, and so it was today. He done really, really, uh, really, really well defensively. I thought Jorginho really put in a shift. Probably, if, if Werner hadn't got his two go goals, I would have probably given Jorginho the the man of the match. I'm giving Jorginho an eight. Um, I should really start the back line, shouldn't I? Okay, right. Uh, Kepa's has got one. Aspi, I thought he done okay. I thought he did all right. He got exposed for pace a couple of times, but we expect that with Aspie. 
generally though, defending was good. Um, you shouldn't need Reese James, but we did uh, we did miss him. Although I, I think probably Aspie was the, the right choice because of his defensive qualities. Uh, I'll give I'll give Aspie a, a seven. Christensen, I'll give him a six. Much of you know, <laughs> he, he, he can't mark. He can't mark, but uh, he done okay. He didn't he didn't cost us any any goals really. Um, someone should have been goal side of the, the last scorer, Jabberwocky, whatever his name is. But uh, but there you go. I've not I've not looked at it, and I probably won't look at it again. Um, and. Uh, Chill well was okay, not his best game, but um, good going forward, and um, yeah, he was okay. Um, he's a quality player. He's, he's definitely an upgrade on the two that we had. Just didn't have a great day at the office, but I'm, I'm going to give him seven as well. Uh, and he probably should have been an eight, but he, could, he can do so much better. Uh, in the middle, Jorginho, yeah, I'm giving Jorginho uh, an 8. No, I'm going to give him 8.5 because he would have been my man of the match if it weren't for, for Werner getting two goals. Um, Mount, I thought he fluctuated in and out today. Um, he was okay. He gets uh, 6.5 from me because he wasn't... Um, wasn't fully up to his game. Kante done all right. He was a bit. He was annoying for him. Uh, broke a lot down. Um, not right on his game, but he gets a seven. And um, then we've got Havertz, uh, who gets an an eight. He gets an eight from me. Um, he done. He done. He done well. Apart from. He would have been slightly higher if it wasn't for that 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 mistake that that cost us dear on the goal. And Werner, I'm going to give Werner a nine because I thought he was uh, he was the the bee's knees. Um, the two finishes were sublime, and he could the header being disallowed, he could have had three. So yeah, he gets my man of the match. Um, I forgot Captain America, didn't I? Pulisic, yeah. Um, it's going to take him a little while. It did last season. Coming back from injury. Um, I'll give him a six. He put a shift in. Um, clearly not match fit. Um, it was okay. I'll give him a six. And I'm sure he'll be getting nines and tens by the end of the season. Because that's what he was like last year. Um, but yeah. More minutes under his belt. And um, six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> There we go, pull a six, six and a half. And uh and that's all I can really all I can really say. You know, two nil up. We should we should be able to to hold these games out, go on and finish and go and finish times off. But while we're making these defensive mistakes, we're uh, and it's the whole team, I'm not I'm not just blaming the defence, you know, because like I say, Habits lost it in midfield today. While we're making individual mistakes like that. Uh, whether it's because of lack of concentration, naivety, or or whatever, um, while we're making mistakes like that, it's going to cost us dear. We are going to concede goals, and while we've got a goalkeeper who probably has to get you know someone in the house to to get rid of a spider, I I I, I just hope Mendy's fit and he's fit soon. You know, people that questioned. Whether Mendy was an upgrade, I bet there's some some people's grands out there that be an upgrade. They'd have more bottle anyway. And I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's it for me today. You know that is it for me today because I've never seen nothing like that. Never seen nothing like that. We we threw that. We threw another two points away. And uh, I'm a big, big fan of Frank, and I hope he gets time to to complete this project at least till the end of the season. But I tell you, Roman, he just spent 220 million, and I'm, I I don't think he'll, he'll stand too much because something needs to be something needs to be done. 
you know, in January, I need to buy another goalkeeper, you know, in case Mendy's ever injured, I think. I really do. Unless you're going to just say, Cabby, in you go. Uh, that Kepler, I don't, I don't know who'd have him. I honestly don't know who'd have him. Must be someone that plays in yellow, I know that. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I should be more upbeat. A couple of cracking goals from Werner. Uh, so he's off the mark. I said predicted he'd get at least 25, and I stand by that prediction. Um, I had Chelsea to win 3 1 today, cheeky little tenner, and that's bye bye tenner. And um, but I think that should that would have been uh, that should have been the result. I'm biased, I know. Uh, you got to give Southampton uh, 10 out of 10 for effort, and they and they that's what effort does, isn't it? If you've got people who make individual mistakes like we've got, um, Havertz, yeah, couldn't really miss from there, but he still put it away well, and um, yeah, onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards, and I'm sorry, I, I should try and be more upbeat, but I just can't. I'm actually quite fed up by what I've witnessed today, particularly, as I say, Kepa's cowardice. Will I support him in a blue shirt? Yes, of course I will. I always support these guys, and uh, and I support Frank, and, and I believe in the project. But I, I'm going I'm to have a beer now. I, I, I need one. Okay. <laughs> Up to Chelsea. See you after the next game. Okay, have a good finish to your weekend. Oh, and uh, can you subscribe if you if you want to? Listen to my ramblings and can you like the video? Apparently, it's, it's good for your, I don't know, logarithm? I don't know, logarithm, up whatever's a bloke cutting trees down. But there you go. Okay, thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Up there, Chelsea.